locks this main door? Um, I need to get out. I need go, to get out. Go, go. Oh, other side. Okay. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make this. Uh, stained glass wall right there. And a hallway with purple elevators. No! He's stirring this place up. <laughs> Third. Are you excited to meet baby? I'm so ready. <laughs> hi buddy. Wake up and say hi. So Camera put him to sleep. Whoa. As soon Sorry. as I hit record, each closes his Camera eyes. Camera just put him right back to sleep. Oh, there's a yawn. Aww. How so awesome. I'm a little tickle you. Mommy, we'll tickle you. Hey guys, it has been quite a while since I got to come on here with such excitement and such joy and such happiness. Golly, I look bad. <laughs> my Wonder Woman, uh, my superhero, has been uh, an incredible journey. It's been a hard couple days. A hard couple days, but healthy mommy, and healthy baby. So this has been our little room, which has been awesome. Um, it's been a crazy story. I'll let Britt tell a little bit of it. So obviously, I was trying to do another home birth, and this little guy just wasn't having it. Wasn't having it. Luckily, I I just listened to my gut and told my mid mid midwives, and was just like, it's time to go to the hospital. Like this, it's not happening. Little stubborn guy. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, super long story and everything, but um, just so thankful for all the hospital staff and everyone. It's been so amazing. So awesome. And now we got a healthy little man. And yeah, he came out at 8 pounds, 15 ounces. One ounce shy of 9 pounds, yeah, which is what I was. So, big boy. But he came out super healthy and happy and screaming and... Big old boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're exhausted, but these two have been through the most of it, and I have had it made. Um, but I really wanted to hit record and share this uh, this with you guys. New family member, another boy. Um, should we talk about the names? They have to have a name before we left, so we had to name him. If you guys remember, when Cora was born, she was born at home. And it took us nine days. Something around there, yeah. Something around nine days to name her. Like, we literally couldn't come up with a name. While we've been at the hospital, they said, you cannot leave until your baby's named. So, like, I was, like, up all night, like, trying to find names. And uh, I think just not knowing if it was a boy or a girl just, like, made it, like, so I couldn't pick a name. Because I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm having. They kept asking what the name was. And we're like, we don't know. We kind of want it to be four letters. That's what all of our other kids have. And the one nurse said it. She's like, I wanted to name my boy <laughs> blank. And, but she didn't end up having a boy. And I looked at him and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that name. It's true. And he's like, that's an awesome name. All of our other names just went out the window and we chose that. So one of the nurses that walked us in this room. I couldn't even tell you what she looked like either. I feel, I know, I wish I could like thank her for I know. she said the name of a boy that she liked and I was and like Brittany just said we both loved it so do you want to tell him or should I you can tell him okay his name guy right here little little man he's not so little he's he don't, don't let the rap fool you I'm not gonna lie he doesn't look that little he looks pretty <laughs> pretty cool little man's official name is Knox K-N-O-X Atwood. Knox Atwood. I think it's such a unique, cool name for him. And we got Noah, Kane, Cora, and Knox. We were, we both loved Luke so much. And it was going to be Luke for a while. Um, but 
the only thing that kept me away from Luke is how common Luke is. Um, like nope. I know Luke's yeah. like personally, and it's like I did like a little more unique name. So then we f then we started to like Luca, L U C A, Luca, and I was like, well, that's more unique than Luke, but it's still kind of Luke. Mm -hmm. And then the nurse was like Knox, and I was like, we were like, yeah. oh, that's a cool name. Like, yeah, and it's like it goes so good with all our other kids' names. Yeah. Well, obviously, everyone probably has so many questions. Um, but he's breastfeeding good. He's eating like a champ. Um, he's definitely eating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'll probably, so my midwife literally kept track of every detail through the whole thing. So once I get that, I'll probably go through and write up like an actual birth story and post it either like on Instagram or Twitter or something. Something for the... Something for all of you, because I know there's a lot of you, like, I want details, like, what happened? Why didn't you have it at home? You know, like... Most of you don't. It, most of them don't most, care. Most people probably don't care, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah. That'll be between you and Britt. It's been a crazy ride on this. Um, he was actually born on the 6th, one six twenty one. He dodged the 2020 date. With all the craziness in the world going on. What a day to come into the world. Distracted us. With no idea what was really going on out there. Yeah, so... Hey, little man. Mm -hmm. So now it's all about um, recovery, keeping um, them full of energy, and being an awesome mother and an awesome father. And um, we have so much great stuff coming, guys. A lot of good news in the works. And uh, Sex oh my with gosh, COVID, they can't come to visit. It was yeah. Like so sad. I felt so bad for them. They're like so ready to meet their new little brother, and it's crazy. So they're so excited because of covid no guests at all so like all our kids and family like it's nuts mm -hmm. nobody can come see them we can't go see them it's <sighs> i have some wild clips of you coming to the hospital oh my gosh no way <laughs> i was like we're passing people on the freeway it's like 30 degrees outside i'm like they're probably looking at me like should I call the cops on them? Like, is the, she being... The best was you had your windows down because you were so hot. And there was a bunch of construction workers at the red light. Oh and you were having gosh. a contraction and you were, like, yelling. <laughs> Dude, it was so bad. So it was, like, it wasn't just, like, a contraction. It was, like, I needed to push. But my body wasn't ready to push. It was so hard not to... It was just... It was terrible. Was like, I've had a home birth before. Like, I know what it should be like. This is not it. Yeah. I knew something was wrong, so. We are healthy and happy and just ready to go home. Only um, other mothers out there can even comprehend what she's talking about because I've never seen more pain in a human's eyes than here with Brittany. It was even more than the other children that she's had. This one was completely different mm -hmm. pain for her so we're very blessed and thankful we're healthy on them and um safe and miss you guys terribly we have so much that we want to tell you very soon it's all coming and um we love you guys and miss you thanks for uh still sticking around whoever's watching <laughs> i just can't wait for him to meet everybody cora's so excited Mm -hmm. Kane, I mean, everyone's excited, but Cora's like, she just wants to help with everything. I know. She's the, the only girl in the house other than Britt, so. She's like ready to bottle feed this baby. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I know. You're going to tell her, huh? See, I haven't had a bottle yet. Mm -hmm. oh. So there's Knox, everybody. Welcome to the giant family. He's awesome. Thanks for all of your guys' love and support. It's been amazing reading everything that you guys send our way and just know we love you guys. <laughs> this is a cute photo. Little pants tucked away. Forgive us for our extreme beauty. I know that oh it's, my gosh. it's really Wait, hard to... <laughs> <laughs> You're glowing. You look great. I look like I just crawled under the couch. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. You're beautiful. One of a kind. Smile more.